So in this video, I'm gonna teach you all of the tips and tricks that you need to maintain one of the most, let's just face it, neglected parts of the house, the dryer exhaust. So the dryer exhaust, lovely. It's a simple concept, really. It's just a, a oh, look at these, these are brittle. It's garbage. It sits in the UV in the sun all day long. It dries out and then the animals start to get at it, right? Because they want to make a hole in this thing, especially in the fall. Woo, what a warm place to live. Usually it just goes through the, the cavity of the wall, which is why they come with this little extension piece. So that'll cover a two by six cavity. And then you can attach your ducting with your dryer on the other side. Most of these have got accessibility where the machine is, so it's very easy to do. Sometimes your dryer exhaust will actually connect to a pipe that's in your ceiling. That's a little more difficult to do. But most cases, they all have one thing in common. Nobody installed it using the screws. Okay, see that? Most people shove this in and then use the caulking and then walk away. And that is really interesting because what happens is, you can see this, it becomes a way for moisture to get into your home. What we want to do first is break up this caulking joint that's all around it. And I like to use my 5-1 tool for this. And gloves, of course, because when you're working up against the brick, you don't want to get your hand rubbed up against that stone. Now my guess is the way that this is in, they might have actually put an expansion foam or something in there to hold this in place. It's really putting up a good fight. All right. <laughs> wow. Not an expansion foam. Actual mortar mix. Phew. Wow. You know, of all the dryer vents in the entire world, I picked the hardest one to take apart. <laughs> Usually kids, they just pop right off. It's not that tricky. You can see here. Oh, there's the flange. All right. Let me get all this dryer goop. I, uh, never seen an installation like this before in my life. That is a lot of mortar mix. So somebody at some point has added a second pipe layer inside of this thing. And regardless of what you find, the whole goal here is to clean out the hole. So whatever it takes to get that done, we are now committed. <laughs> Hang on, I can see it. There you go. Give it a yank. Just yank it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Now, that was ridiculous. Here we go. Okay, so this is the typical function. And when the wind blows, the vents open up, okay? This should be curved so that when the wind's blowing this way, it holds them shut. And all we have to do here now just pray that that fits the hole of that mortar joint. I'm running into something in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this a lot simpler for us. I just don't need all this mortar. Mortar doesn't do pest control because this whole thing has got a has pest control on it. Mortar doesn't do anything for insulation. All it does is get in the way at this point. That should open up my access. Perfect, okay. So now I've got lots of, lots of ability to connect that. So in this situation, because the wall is a two by six wall, plus it's a brick, the extension that came with the dryer vent wasn't long enough to reach the other side. So it's necessary to take another piece of four inch pipe with that perforated, or that dimpled edge, and it fits inside, it's like a pipe extension. And from the other side, inside the house, there's a few inches sticking out of the wall, and we can attach our pipe to that. Now, 
in that direction that the dust will be traveling. There's nothing there to catch, so it should exhaust pretty nicely. So here is the key to having a good looking, dry, nice, tight vent. Line that up, take out your black marker. Love these because it's a fine point marker. Thank you, Milwaukee. Big fan of the ink saw. Yeah. Get it? It inks on all things. It's cute. You mark your holes. And then you take your quarter inch masonry bit, put it in your grill. And I got mine set to hammer so it's fast, but it works on any function. Let me take it off hammer here. I'm on the edge of the brick. Always nice if I can get it a hole in the brick, not the not the mortar joint. Not a good quality bit. <sighs> this is probably why the last guy just used adhesive to attach it to the building. <laughs> ah, it's freaking amazing. So we're gonna copy. We're gonna follow suit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all the old stuff first so that the new stuff has something to adhere to other than just old caulking. But listen, you could use plastic wall anchors and regular screws. I know it's an exterior application, but when we're all done, we're gonna be sealing it up with this lovely white quad. And this adhesive sealant works amazing. And you don't have to worry about your screws rusting because it would be impossible. So instead, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually hold the fins open and look through the hole. And I'm gonna direct it over top of that extension. Okay, Matt, can you uh, push that in now? This is where it's gonna get crazy because I am going to attach this with caulking. Goes against my better judgment. Can you bring the caulking gun out here now? You might choose to go to the store and buy four or five of those bits and drill a couple holes. But at the end of the day, this will work fine. Just remember, there's nothing to hold it against the brick wall. So you wanna cut it on an angle and use the side of the tube to force the direction of this I didn't puncture the hole, did I? Oh boy. It's funny, but when you're getting eaten alive by bugs, you kind of forget all the details. <laughs> there we go. I'm using the side of that tube to force it into the hole. And the idea here is to try to set this up, close the gap, force it in the hole without pushing on this exhaust. You do not want to run your finger in this stuff after you're done to smooth it out. This is not a time to worry about looking pretty. This stuff is incredibly sticky. It sets up so fast. Trying to smooth it out is just going to make a bigger mess. Be slow and steady. Keep your tube in front of your, your caulking and just run it down and stay out of its way. And it should come out generally flat and look really nice. Nobody that does any caulking on the exterior of a house as a profession is all that worried about the, the, the look. They're more concerned about the seal. And then when you're done, put it over that hole and fill it up until you see it squeezing out. That's that. We're all done. All that's left is to pop on the bird screen And it just sits on these two pins, so you can just grab this and pop it off anytime you want. Which is how, gonna be necessary because it's a dryer vent, and this is gonna get clogged up with that dryer exhaust debris. So it is a maintenance issue once you put this kind on. But this will keep the mice and the birds from trying to attack into the house. Let that sit overnight, and then you can attach all your machines the next day. So that concludes our tutorial on how to install your dryer exhaust and how to give blood to the bug world. 
If you like these kind of videos, give us a thumbs up. Ask your questions below. This was a little bit weird and complicated, and I know a lot of homes have got a lot of different scenarios. So looking forward to answer those for you. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We'll see you again next time.